What's up everybody? My name is Philip. Thanks for tuning in today. We got a pretty cool logo going on. Um, we had another go with random word generator today. It sped out bee and blade and we came up with blade bee honey. Um, I know, really creative. <laughs> so, um, but we created a pretty cool logo for, for this imaginary company. And um, yeah, we created like an icon, we had a matching font which goes along with it and we also tried to come up with just a simple pattern they can use for packaging and stuff like that. And um, finally we had a little mock-up done and or I did a little mock-up. And yes, without further ado, let's jump into Illustrator and see what I come up with. So we start off by dropping in an ellipse and just building out a head and the body quickly. This is pretty straightforward. We just have to select the anchor points and adjust them a bit. And for the body, we just cut it in half and duplicate it. <music> to build out the stripes of the bee, I tried out different variations of just getting straight lines, putting some anchor points in and just adjusting the handles, but I ended up just making two lines and warping them with the warp tool. To build out the blade shaped wings of the bee, I just dropped in a rectangle and adjusted the anchor points and added here and there a new anchor point and adjusted the handles a bit to just make them fit to my scribble. Then some minor refinements on the anchor points at the end. And duplicate the whole thing that we can make the sharp edge of the blade. I quickly duplicated the wing and then just flipped it horizontally. And then some minor adjustments to the curve to make it fit better to the body and the head. Then I changed the weight of the stroke a bit. And the first one is done. So the second approach was to have an even more simplified B. Use the same technique here as well, just Warp the lines a bit, and there we go. The next step was to see how the logo does with different colors. So I added a yellow background to just see which one works better. And then I realized that my, my simplified B uh, is a bit <laughs> too bulky and I wanted to have it a bit more sporty so I just transformed it a bit and squeezed it a bit to make it a bit more narrow and thinner and then I had a look which logo worked best in different scales and different strokes on the, on the yellow background But I'm not sure at this point which logo works better. So I tried out to make a lockup in combination with the text to see which one is going to be the final logo.
so I finally decide that the right logo is going to be the logo which I'm going to proceed with because it is much more simple so the icon is much more simple and in combination with the topography which is a bit playful it makes a good combination then I'm doing some cleanup touches And we're starting to drop color in as well. I tried out different variations and in the end I decided to go with a nice honey tone for the bee and a nice forest green for the background. Next up, we use the rectangle to make a simple pattern, which can be used later on on packaging, for example, or on other products. And the first draft was too narrow, so I widened it a bit. And this one did look pretty good. For presentation purposes, I looked up a photo of a honey jar Warp the label into shape Dropped in my green color and added the logo as well tried if a pattern would work but I didn't prefer it at this point I added a bit of grain did some minor color adjustments dropped in the mock-up. And there we go. This is the final logo. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Um, it was a pleasure doing this video for you again. And I yeah, just enjoy the process a lot um, of designing new logos and come up with new ideas. And yes, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you liked it, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. If you didn't like it, consider leaving a dislike. And um, yeah, I see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.